Welcome back. In this video we'll start explaining what classification is and uh, give a brief introduction of what the process of classification entails. Now, classification is a data mining task of predicting the value of a categorical variable, sometimes it's called a target or a class. So here we have some input data, we have some data sets with instances, one or more data sets with instances i.e. with columns, um, uh, d different columns and different values and then we want to predict a categorical variable i.e. a class. Now this is done by building a model based on one or more numerical or categorical variables so our variables can be numerical or categorical and we can use one or more of them or maybe none of them as you will see to build that model. These variables or these descriptors sometimes they're known as predictors, sometimes they're known as uh, uh, descriptors or attributes or features. They all mean the same thing. Now one thing I'd like you to remember always and as you will see from my videos that sometimes I give you examples for example with data which only contains variables of categorical type. If you want to apply the same algorithm and you have data which contains numerical numerical variables then you can transform numerical to categorical and you can transform categorical to numerical so other way around if you not if you don't know how to do this then please watch my data exploration and analysis uh, uh, tutorial in there I explain these uh, concepts binning or discretization to come to transform from numerical to categorical and I explain encoding or continu continuization to transform from categorical to numerical just to give an example, this is a data set, well known the weather data set. Uh, we have four features or four descriptors, or I'm sorry, four predictors outlook, temperature, humidity, windy. And you can note that all of them are of type categorical. And here we have our class, which is now play golf either yes or no. And notice again, it's actually a categorical variable. And this tree diagram here just shows us that. The yellow box here is the class, so we're trying to decide whether to play or not to play based on uh, values from our attributes or from our features or from our uh, predictors. Now one thing I'd like you to be familiar with is the linear, non-linear separability. And always, please always remember to use diagrams. Diagrams help us greatly to visualize things so we can have a feel of what the data looks like and um, uh, how we can go about our data. Now let's assume for example that we take some measurements from people randomly we measure for example height and uh, weight and let's assume that we plot height and weight against each other in this 2D diagram as you can see here let's assume that weight is the y-axis and height is the x-axis and let's assume that uh, the red dots here are males and the blue dots are females. Now you can see that we can nicely draw a straight line that perfectly separates the two categories or the two classes. This data set or this data is said to be linearly separable. If there's overlap and we can't draw a straight line to perfectly split the data then that's known as non-linearly non 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 separable data. Um, now you notice here we have only two classes let's say maybe male or female sometimes we can have more than two classes and we can transform that into a binary classification problem by the way I will be only focusing on binary classification so the class would be yes or no maybe positive negative true or false 0 1 or minus 1 plus 1 or something like that if we have a problem with multiple classes then we can transform it into a binary problem by for example using the one against all technique or any other technique. Again to show you a non-linearly separable data here we can't actually draw a straight line to perfectly uh, separate the two classes but there are some other tricks where we can transform the data now from from these uh, from the dimension we have now that we have now two dimensional data let's say weight and height only two dimensions we can add more dimensions so we can split that data by the way if the data is two dimensional i.e. only we only have two measurements or two attributes or two features then uh, we can draw a line if the data is three-dimensional then we can draw a plane 
if the data is more than three dimensional it becomes a hyper plane and um, the good thing is that anything you can do in 2D if you can draw a line in 2D then you should be able to draw a plane in 3D or a hyper plane in more than 3D we won't go in into much detail uh, 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 for uh, for the math behind it but you can uh, trust that 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 can be done now the upcoming videos for classification will uh, uh, we will be covering uh, these classifiers 0R, 1R, Naive Bayes and decision, decision Tree which are based on frequency table we'll be covering lin the linear discriminant analysis and logistic regression which is based on covariance matrix we'll be covering the K nearest neighbor uh, uh, classifier which is based on similarity functions and we'll be covering artificial neural networks and support vector, support vector machines uh, what else? Uh, just remember always to use diagrams remember this concept of linear separability and non-linear non separability the problem of binary classification when we have only two classes if we have multi classes then we can transform it into a binary classification using the one versus all concept and always remember that if your algorithm uh, applies to categorical variables or categorical attributes then we can transform them into uh, and, and we have numerical data then we can transform them using encoding and the opposite is always true I'll will, I will stop here in the next video I'll be introducing the 0R classifier thanks for watching and I'll see you next time